Hello, hello, hello. I'm not even gonna apologize for ghosting you guys. <laughs> I'm also not gonna say that it's because you know that's how I roll, but no. As I have explained many times, I'm grinding on the other channel um, and on Instagram and I'm working remotely, so I have a lot of videos to make regularly. This channel is my baby, this is where I like to post personal stuff like this, you know, content that's more slow and a bit more personal where I can share more about my life through these life diaries and my style because I'm still a girly girl that loves to shop and I feel like this channel is very important for me to express that so after the Lisbon trip ended, I went to Rwanda I was there for one month and then I came to Uganda for three months so I've been here for three months my visa is literally about to expire and I gotta go where am I going? I'm going back to Mozambique because I thought it would be nice to attend my cousin's wedding she's like one of my favorite cousins she's the one behind many of the videos that i have here on my channel like my cousin was the one filming me on my direction so i'm very grateful for her in regards to that and she has always been very very supportive of me and like everything that i do so i, I think it would be nice to go back to her wedding and be there to support her on this big day and also to go back to celebrate my birthday so yeah it's been a while since i've thrown a birthday party or celebrated my birthday with people um, throughout the previous years I was just traveling solo every birthday and now that I travel solo for a living I'm like okay I don't want to spend my birthday the way I spend all my days which is alone exploring you know enjoying myself by myself just to switch things up I think it would be fun to go home and throw a little birthday gathering with like my favorite cousins probably all of them because I don't want anyone to feel left out but also like high school um, friends and friends from my early 20s and so on so that's what's gonna happen that's why I'm going back to Mozambique it wasn't the plan like I thought I was gonna go to another country but you know I need to chill I feel like I need to be with people that I love as well I'm feeling a little bit too isolated right now it's been four months of me just being alone so i'm excited to go back home home just be with family friends speak portuguese again full time before i forget my language that would never happen who am i trying to fool that would never happen i am in my second last day in kampala so this morning i went to do the last shopping like shopping in uganda is so fun because you can find the most amazing things for the lowest price Let's not ignore the elephant in the room. I'm wearing a pimple patch because I have a very strong pimple. She really wants to come and ruin my week, but I won't let her. So I'm using a pimple patch, Corks RX. This one is like the highest rated pimple patch. I'll say that it works, but it works if you leave it on for at least 12 hours because I've tried leaving it on only overnight and it doesn't work. So I put it on this morning and I'm gonna stay with it until tomorrow morning. Hopefully the pimple will be gone by then. Plans for my second last day. So I did my last shopping. Now I want to finally get these braids off my head. Going to like a budget salon that I found because I realized that at this big age that I am, I don't wanna wash my hair anymore. Like I've, I've spent the last decade washing my hair by myself and undoing my braids by myself because I was trying to be gentle and be careful with my hair and you know, avoid breakage and other people won't take care of it the way I do, which is true. But to be honest, in, U in Rwanda and in Uganda, like the salon experiences I've had were the best. The best that I've ever had in Mozambique. Like they are actually gentle. They care about detangling with the fingers. They will never come my hair dry. So yeah, it's really nice. Like, and it's a bit sad to realize that maybe the saloonists in Mozambique are just so behind and they have no awareness whatsoever on how to deal with 4C hair. But yeah, I decided that from now on, now that I don't have to deal with Mozambican salonists because I'm a full-time traveler, I'm gonna just never wash my hair again. Never. <laughs> After I took my first braids down, I, did, I washed by myself and I, I didn't enjoy the process. I didn't enjoy, you know, my arms hurting and all of that. I was like, I'm done with this. So I'm gonna get all of this work done by other people. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there. Last time they gave me the best massage while they were washing my hair. I was like, woo! I almost went to heaven so I said that I'm gonna go back for them to take this down and wash my hair and I'm gonna get it blow-dried 
for the wedding I'm gonna do a bun like a very simple bun because I want the outfit to be the center of attention so that will work my room is such a mess obviously because I have to pack everything and there's a lot that I have to clear out like oh that's another thing about packing making sure that I'm at the limit of weight and I love to shop I love to buy things and buy things for people and I only have like 23 kgs plus extra 10 that I paid for so I'm trying not to get extra luggage I mean I'm trying not to pay for excess luggage <sighs> that's gonna be like a chore like there's a lot of clothes that I don't want to take with me onto my next age so it's gonna be okay I'm gonna clear out a lot of things and leave it behind with the girl that stays in the house I'm gonna leave them for her she can sell she can do whatever she wants with the clothes and yeah that's an assignment for tomorrow <laughs> Okay. Just got home from the salon. That was like such a therapeutic session. Ugh. It's clearly night time, but I just wanted to register that there's no better feeling than taking braids down, getting a good wash and a blow dry and like putting my hair back in a bun. I'm so happy and I'm going to be able to stay like this for... 10 days and then I'm gonna get new braids for my birthday. But for now, I'm gonna love sleeping tonight with a bonnet, but you know, no nothing weighing my head down. It's been so long. Good morning from my last day in Kampala. I still have sleep marks, by the way, because last night was rough. I slept from 2.20 to 5.20, that's three hours, and then I was awake until seven, and then I got to sleep again until quarter to 10. Anyway, I'm not mad because I need to get up pretty early for my flight and I'm thinking about not sleeping. I'm sorry for all the background noise, like my room is right in front of a busy street. But this is the plan for today. I'm very excited because I literally planned this day last week. I was like, I want my last day to be super chilled. I want to go get my treatment. So I did my workout and then I went to pick up my shoes because they were brown. My shoes were super brown and at the, again, at my big age, I don't like to scrub shoes. Like that's something that I would rather not do. If I can delegate, I will. Um, I still wash my clothes, the everyday clothes I wash by myself, the special clothes I get to the dry cleaners, but shoes, I couldn't find anyone that was willing to wash them. So I went to my, the hostel that I stayed when I first got here and I asked the guy, the security guy, I mean, I asked the guy, for the lady that washes the clothes and he was like oh you want you want to wash your shoes i can do it and i was like please do and he did such a great job guys these were brown when i tell you they were brown brown doo, -doo brown because there's a lot of mud in kampala and it rains a lot lately so these were all brown and i was disgusted when i looked at them and he did such a great job even the sole looks brand new so i'm very happy um i think i'm gonna wear the all-stars to the airport but these are more comfortable so i don't know i'll decide so that's done now i'm gonna have my breakfast and i'm gonna show you guys all the last things i bought it's quite a bit so let's get through it i think i'm gonna start by showing you the things that i got in a christmas market that i went just last saturday i was like okay i love a market where they have like um, artisans exposing their like handmade goods and stuff so here's what i got where i spent most of my money was buying these cow horn utensils like i went ham because i think this is such a nice gift and it's a type of uh, artisan goods that we don't have in mozambique i got myself this soap holder bar soaps always get messy but with this one i think i'm gonna be able to enjoy bar soaps again because i have a beautiful place to display my bar soaps 
I got a tray, I got some coasters for my dad and some of these are gonna be housewarming gifts for my friend and the other one I'm gonna give um, to my aunts for Christmas so I really really love the craftsmanship that goes into making these they are so beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing when I was buying these utensils, I really wish I had a house of my own because I would have bought everything made of cow horn to put in my house, in my kitchen. So it was really fun to buy it for other people because I don't have a house. And to be honest, I don't want to have a house anytime soon. Um, did that in 2021. It was fun, but I don't want to go back to a place where I have objects um, in my name. <laughs> Next thing I got from the market was this little pouch just because I love the craftsmanship of it like look at the details this is something that cannot get wet and I'll try my best not to get it wet and I bought it because I thought it would be nice to put like my makeup because I usually wear a big tote for my everyday errands and my makeup is just spread in the tote you know my lip liner my gloss my lip balm everything is spread around the tote so I was like okay Maybe with this one I can organize it. It's just an excuse to buy something that is just so pretty. Maybe I can also put my passport here, my AirPods. It's just something that I think is gonna be useful to organize my backpack or my tote. And the last most important thing that I got ah, was this book. This book has been on my wish list for years because it had a big hype around it. Um, on TikTok comments, people usually recommend this book when they're talking about relationships and patri patriarchy and like all those triggering topics that I love to follow. So yeah, I got this book and I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna read it at the airport because on the plane I'm always falling asleep. I don't usually read books about love. I usually read books on fiction, Colleen Hoover's, which is like novels, romance novels. I used to read a lot of self-help books. If you go back on my videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm out of that era, maybe because I feel like I'm already like living in my purpose and I'm happy with the work that I'm doing and I'm happy with my personal development. So I don't feel like I need self-help books as much. So I'm more interested in reading books about other people's thought processes, about love, emotions, um, human psychology that's my thing right now so i'm gonna start with this one now one thing i'm realizing is that buying physical books is becoming unsustainable i love having physical books but at this point i literally have four books that i don't know what i'm gonna do with them because they are heavy you know they add in a lot of weight to the luggage even to the hand luggage this one is gonna go on my backpack but i have all of these books and I feel like, you know, books are special. I, I cannot just give it to anyone. I need to give it to people that will get it. You know, ugly love. It's not something that I can give to just anyone. It's so graphic. <laughs> if you know, you know. Colleen books are always like a little bit graphic. I also don't want to carry these home. But I'm thinking I should take them home and keep them on my... You know, I have a box with all of my books that hopefully in one day I'll put them on a shelf in my house when I'm a homeowner. So I think I'm just going to have to sacrifice and take my books you know, I gotta think about my future shelf. It has to be filled with books. So I think I'm gonna take them back home, leave them at, at my parents' house. I cannot see myself reading something like this on a Kindle because then I have another screen time to consume. And I'm like, no, I already spent enough time on my laptop and on my phone. When it's time to read, I wanna read something physical. I wanna oh, smell the pages. Oh, this smells so good. <sighs> Things that I got on this big bag are digestives these are some british cookies that i fell in love with when i was there studying because of i'm janim she was the one hyping this up she was like oh digestives and tea so delicious as soon as i landed in the uk as soon as i arrived in my university i was like let's see what that girl was talking about so i bought these pack of digestives i had them with tea and my life was changed it's absolutely delicious i introduced them to my mom she loves them and I first thought they only sold this in the UK, but then I went to Rwanda, I saw them on the supermarket, I was like, wow. I came to Uganda, I saw them on the supermarket, I was like, wow. So last time I brought a few packs to my mom, this time she asked me to do the same. So I got her like three packs. They didn't have the big one, she's gonna have to make these ones stretch. I also got my favorite Ugandan tea, which is Kisubi tea. I'm taking for my aunts as well, for them to try, and my godmother because it's a lemongrass tea and it's something that we do not have in Mozambique at all. 
even in Rwanda, I didn't see lemongrass tea like this. The small one is for me, and this one I'll give as gifts with like the other stuff. When it comes to clothes, I think this time I didn't buy too much in uh, Uganda because obviously I bought a few clothes in Lisbon and I have to do a haul for that. I've been meaning to do my Lisbon haul for the longest time, but I was like, you know what? Let me, instead of posting the haul and ghosting again, let me post a live diaries and then post the hauls like one after the other. So I didn't buy clothes in Uganda besides having those, these two made for content like i literally had these two outfits made for real but my favorite fashion item that i got was this pair of sandals and obviously it's because they're out of my comfort zone they're a pop of color i'm gonna try them on when i make my clothing haul i'm not gonna try them on right now but i'm so excited to wear these in moss they're gonna look so good with like jeans and a white top you know they're just gonna be the pop of color i'm so happy i love mustard yellow i think it's beautiful i'm sure it's gonna go well with the rest of my wardrobe because i have a lot of whites and neutrals so this was my favorite thing my favorite uganda purchase this time i'm gonna baby them as much as i can they are obviously cheap shoes faux leather but they're beautiful and i'm gonna enjoy them while they last i'm such a troll sister that this is the only gift i got <laughs> for my sister wash your back <laughs> but they are so adorable and i bought a pair for myself I wear them to scrub my body and they feel really good. And now it's really time for me to pack everything. Hopefully that suitcase is going to be 10 kilos. This one should be 23 kilos. So I think I'm gonna start packing now just to make sure that I clear out everything that I don't wanna bring with me and I decide who am I gonna give it to. Either the girl or I literally still have time to go to a church and donate a few things. So yeah, let me get that done and then we'll be off to waxing. is my outfit i'm wearing a tank top these pants that are like my go-to i'm wearing sleepers they're gonna get drenched but there's no way i'm going to wear my beautiful pristine sneakers no way so i'm gonna wear these i probably get a flu but it doesn't matter and then i'm wearing this ugly bomber jacket very comfortable because obviously it's very rainy so that's the look not the look that i was expected like i wanted to wear a dress i wanted to you know look all girly girl but the rain the weather doesn't want that greatness from me so i'm just gonna be average the most important thing is to get my things done let's head out this is the worst day i've experienced in kampala like Thank God I had my hat to save my hair. wax was really nice super relaxing she put like rose water and coconut oil after i feel so fresh <laughs> and that's great because this is supposed to be the last wax of the year i don't want nothing or no one to make me get another wax before 2024 <laughs> let's see how that goes so now i need to rush to my massage because i'm really late but i'm so excited for my massage i'm pretty sure i'm gonna pass out because it's a neck back shoulder massage and at the end of the massage she gives me a scalp massage and last time when she gave me the scalp massage i fell asleep she was like excuse me your massage is over and i was like oh so today's gonna be one hour and i'm really looking forward to that Thank you. 
currently at Port Tambo Airport here in South Africa. I just checked in my bags for my second flight to Maputo. And now it's like 3 p.m. I have one hour to eat and all I have to do is decide where to eat because there's quite a few nice options. And I saw that they have a Nando's and I haven't had a Nando's in so long. So that would be really nice. And after a long trip just like that, I am in Maputo. I am currently in my Airbnb, which is actually really cute. Um, I'm uploading this video before I leave this house, so I'm not gonna show you the Airbnb just yet. Maybe on my last, ooh, maybe on my last day, I'll give you a little tour. Um, it's a really nice area. Fun fact, mm -mm, I cannot say the fun fact because then I'll reveal where I am. <laughs> okay, I'll share the fun fact like on the last live diaries in Maputo. So my face is beat because today's my cousin's wedding. Actually, it's not done yet. I still need to put uh, eyeliner, mascara, but I'm going to my my parents house and i'm gonna finish my makeup there because i have to do my sister's makeup i have to do my mom's makeup i have to iron my dress wear it it's 10 a.m we need to be on the way to the wedding at 12 so i think it's gonna be fine once i'm like fully beat i'm gonna show you guys the final look as well and yeah i'm so excited to see like all of my family members like my extended family from my dad's side um in one place you know all the couples all the cousins and their partners and the kids i'm not sure I'm not sure if the kids are gonna be there, but. And also looking forward to seeing, you know, the new family where she's gonna integrate, <laughs> like her groom's family. Yeah, I was hoping to have had some time with her alone before the wedding, but she didn't reply. I assume that she's like busy with the preparations and stuff. So this is gonna be my, the first time I'm gonna see my cousin as well in like three, four months, which is okay. I'm gonna see her in her most beautiful state, I hope. Um, I hope her makeup looks good. I hope her hair looks good. I won't be able to get ready with her to, you know, supervise. But hey, I'm going to trust her own taste on this one. And I'm looking forward to seeing her. Now, let me head to my parents' house to do my mom's makeup, my sister's makeup, have some breakfast, get dressed. And then I'll show you guys the final look. And I'll take you guys to the wedding as well. Yeah. 